Have you ever experienced a spiritual confusion, uh, maybe related to ministry or in general about where God is calling you to? And it's so easy to sort of get stressed about it, to, to overthink it, to try to figure things out, to, to think, God, what do you want me to do? And then get ourselves in knots, get frustrated that we're not doing what we think God wants us to do. And we're just trying to figure it all out on our own. And it's just becoming more and more confusing. There's no clarity. It's overwhelming. I think to myself, the, the Bible verse, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. And then the, the, the other problem becomes trying to not try to understand which is another form of trying to understand and it just becomes so confusing sometimes the best thing or always the best thing that we can do when we're overwhelmed when we're confused is just to come before God and just say God I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. I, I don't know what exactly you want me to do. I need you to speak to me. I need to hear from you, Lord God. I need you to direct me. And that's the place that he wants us to come to. He doesn't call us to the place. He doesn't desire us to be in the place. But we're trying to figure everything out. And it's amazing how when we do come before him and we may not feel anything at first, we may not have any understanding, we may have to come before him for a continued period of time seeking him for direction, for guidance. But it's amazing how he can open things up, he can direct us, he can unfold our path. If we just come before him and just let go of all of the things we're trying to figure out, he brings clarity. He shines the light of his understanding in us. And all of a sudden we get a greater sense of the opportunities around us. We get a greater sense of what we feel God might be calling us to do. And then we can slowly walk in that day by day. I think for myself, when I'm making videos, there are so many topics that I could choose. And I've really been thinking about this lately. I've been thinking about it, especially this week. I've been thinking to myself, there are so many people on YouTube doing Christian videos. How, how, can, I, how can I do this in a way that is going to truly impact the people that are watching because people's time is valuable and people are, li people are listening to a lot of voices. How can I use the limited opportunity when people click on a video to be able to connect with them, to be able to communicate the heart of God? And, and, and I think I need God so much. Lord, what, what words do you want me to speak? What direction do you want me to take? Because I don't want to just sit in front of a camera talking to people. I don't, I don't even want to take up your time doing that if God's not in it. And so often I can feel unqualified, not in terms of knowledge, or, or understanding of the scriptures, but in terms of thinking, well, who am I? I'm, I'm a nobody. And how much I need God, how much I need to be praying over these things, to be dependent upon him, to be coming before him, seeking his direction. And in, in your life, it's the same thing. People around you, they don't, they don't need you to give them an answer. They need, they need God because God, he is the answer. And you, 
a call to be as faithful as you can to to bring God's message to people, whether it's to unbelievers or whether it's to other bro- uh, Christian brothers and sisters. We need to seek God in how we are to minister to these people because so often we can be so self-sufficient and reliant that we can simply minister out of the place that we're living from we can we can speak words we can be quick to speak we can offer solutions and we can do a lot of practically good things but how great it is to be abiding in Christ to have the anointing of the spirit and to have that overflow of the spirit which is pouring out to people and truly touching lives and that's my desire and I bet that's your desire if you're watching too is that we we just want the Holy Spirit to be moving in and through us in everything that we're doing so that our words, they have power and they have life. They don't just sound good. Um, They're not just coming out of the intellect and our own understanding, but they're coming from such a deeper place. The Bible tells us that we have the mind of Christ with the Spirit dwelling in us. We see the apostles were... um, people would look at them and think how are these people how are these men so filled with wisdom and understanding these are uneducated these are ordinary men but they've been with Jesus and that's what we need as well we need to be with Jesus so that we can have that impact in the spirit when we're ministering to others and as I said at the start you might not even know um what God's calling you to and that's something to seek the Lord over to to come before him and to pray Lord um, what do you want me to do today Um, what people do you want me to minister to Uh, what do I need to be ready with how do you want to equip me to minister to people Um, help to unfold it Lord and um, the cry of Isaiah When he says, here I am, send me. The Lord says, who will go? And all he needs is someone that is available, someone that is humble, that says, Lord, um, doing this in my own strength isn't enough. As Moses said, you know, if if the Lord doesn't, if the Lord isn't going to come with him, he doesn't want to go. And then just surrendering, being in prayer, seeking the Lord and saying, Lord, just help me use me I'm available and I'm surrendered to you for whatever you called me to do and then don't get too caught up in the distractions going on around you spiritual confusion can be such an opportunity because it can bring you to the place where you say I I just can't figure it out Lord, Lord help me and that's what it's aimed to do is to bring you to God so I don't know if you have direction or not in what God is calling you to do in your life and it doesn't always have to be the really big thing the most important thing is what he's calling you to do step by step and then over time he can lead you in the bigger path but every day just ask him Lord what are you calling me to do today you've put me here I have breath in my lungs Lord God what why am I here what do you want me to do how do you want me to live today and spend that time before him so that he can speak to you and and give you direction in that don't put any pressure on yourself to have to figure out anything simply come before god and just say god help me forget all else forget your own understanding and as you come before god like that he will reveal things to you that he couldn't reveal otherwise and even like i said if you don't feel anything happening at first continue to come before him he is faithful to meet you there and to direct you friends any comments any thoughts that you have leave them below Um, it's great to connect with you Uh, i love you in christ and i'm so grateful for the opportunity to be able to speak to you I, i pray that this message has blessed you in some way and i look forward to talking to you very soon brothers and sisters